Hello everyone, this is Alex from 3D Printer How To, and today I'm going to show you how to install Repetier Host on a Linux based machine. I'm filming this on a Windows based machine so that I can get a good screen capture, but I will be using SSH to connect to my Linux based machine where I will install the software. Before you install the software, it's a good idea to update and upgrade your system. To do this, you'll need to run the following commands sudo apt-get update, and it will prompt you for your password. Next, run sudo apt-get upgrade. If you have upgrades, it will prompt you before installing. As you can see, my system had a lot of upgrading to do. Yours might not have any at all, but it's definitely worth running the command just to make sure before you install the software. The first step is to go to Repetier Host's website, which is repetier.com. At the top, you can click Download, and then scroll down to the most recent version for Linux. For us, this is 0.90D. After you tell it to download, it will appear in your Downloads folder. So if we change into our Downloads folder, I'm in the terminal right now, you should see the file appear. It will be look just like that. The first step is to unpack the folder using the command provided. You'll need tar space minus xzf and then the file name as shown above. Once you've done that, you should have the folder called Repetier Host that you can change into, like so. Once you've moved into the folder where everything's been unpacked, you can now run the program, which is dot slash configure first dot sh. It's going to ask you for your password. If it gives you an error, just say yes and try again. Now it's going to prompt you and tell you that it's going to use about 90 megabytes of disk space. Just press Y and hit enter. It's going to begin installing and unpacking all of the software. I'll speed up this process so you don't have to sit and watch the entire thing. And I'll come back as soon as it prompts me for something else. As you can see, it just stopped here because it's prompted me to ask if I'm okay with it using an additional 437 kilobytes of memory. I just press Y and hit enter and it will continue on its own. prompted me again, it's now asking if I have an additional 85.6 megabits of space to be used, and of course I do. Press Y and hit enter. After it's finished installing everything, it brings you back to the screen where you're allowed to type in anything. Type in the following command, user mod dash A dash capital G dial out, and then your username. For me, that's Alex. However, as you can see here, my system does not require me to use this command, but yours might. Once you have installed the software, if you change directories to where it is installed, for me it's still in the download section in the Repetier Host folder. If you run Repetier Host with a capital H, it will run the program. If you have questions about how to configure the software, check our Repetier Host video, which we will have a link to. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, leave them below.